So there's a lot of people who thought you were a fluke or a fraud. And this can be, like I said, this can be on any kind of subject or any kind of field. You can be a damn lawyer. You can be a doctor. You can be any, if people thought that you were a fluke. You can be a very popular dancer, singer. You could be someone who's famous in your town or your city for whatever it is you do. You could be a cook or a chef or a nail tech. You could be whatever. People thought that you were a fraud. People thought that you were a fluke. People thought that your spiritual gifts were not real when you tried to help them. Okay? So, some people you met thought that you were, was a fluke or a fraud, or even people who attempted to put you in your place or extend help to you, especially spiritual growth help, um, once they really went down a rabbit hole of you, they realized, oh shit, you're the real deal collector. Um, they were saying in their head like, oh, I can take notes from them. They don't even tell you that, of course, okay? Um, but they, they tried to extend their help to you in like a, in a demeaning and sarcastic, underhanded way. Like if someone, like for instance, I use me as an example, someone who's not even a, a life coach could try to come, come towards me and extend their help to me, telling me they can coach me, but they don't even, they don't even life coach. You know what I'm trying to say? So they can be like, they, they're so intimidated by me that I'm living in my highest timeline and my truth that they'll come to me to say, oh, I can help you do better. I can help you do this. I can help you get rid of those blockages. Some girl in this app tried to do that to me recently. Some dark witch, Tina Torres, tried to do that to me. So I can, I can help you uh, remove your money blockages. Girl, you can't help me do nothing. Like they can't really help you do nothing. They would want to try to help you so they can take credit for that, but they can't help you do nothing. But they always want to like come in and sarcastically extend their help or, you know, be nasty. Not nice nasty, but just nasty thinking they're appearing nice. But you can read all through that because the veil has been lifted. The veil has been lifted, collective. And you can see all through the bullshit. You can see through people's demonic ways. People that are appealing, appearing angelic, you can see that they're demonic and they're dark and they're nasty and no one can fool you. Okay? So, that got deep. So, <laughs> just remember, that was not written down. So, just remember that around this time, people could be trying to masquerade as a good person, but you are so in tune. You are so tapped in because you're not eating a lot of meat or not eating any meat. That would come out of nowhere. That's not written down. But you're not eating as much meat or not eating meat anymore, especially red meat. Because that can do something to your gut. Your gut is your second brain. And all those chemicals they put in that red meat will come flummox your, your downloads and your, your intuitive messages from God, the most high. So please remember that no one can fool you around this time. Don't allow them to fool you. Do your due diligence about anybody that's coming into your life. Um, do your homework. Look them up. Research them. Look at their pictures and really like try to get into their essence if you have to. Um, and then cleanse yourself after. Do, do a salt bath. Confirmation. Do a salt shower. Do whatever you gotta do to protect your vessel. 